Hello, this is Daniel from speedcubing.org, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Yushi V2M, a cube I never intended to get, but is actually okay. The Yushi V2M comes in at just £14, making it the cheapest magnetic 6x6 on the market. And it's actually surprisingly good for that price. Um, out of the box, it's a bit loose, and I would suggest that if anybody gets it, they tighten the tensions up a bit. Because on a 6x6, it's bound to pop. Pretty much all 6x6s do it if you're rough with it but if you're a beginner on a low budget wanting a 6x6 you really don't want it to pop because it's quite annoying to put back together I mean it's possible but it's annoying so yeah I strongly recommend that you tighten the tensions quite a bit if you get this cube but once the t tensions are tightened um, any sorts of pops are quite rare um, just like they are on most 6x6s these days and it actually performs pretty well it has the standard corner cutting you would expect on a 6x6 which is really nice and it's it's fast I would say it's faster than the Aoshi Shadow MGC probably faster than all three of them which is nice, there's less friction certainly than the Aoshi GTSM which I certainly feel that it, this cube is based off of and to demonstrate that I'm going to get the Aoshi GTSM here and I'm going to take a piece out so as you can see from the different shades of green here what I've done is I've taken one piece out of each of them and switched them around and to prove my point that they are very similar in design, it's still speed cubable. In fact, it actually doesn't change the performance much at all. I might even experiment with that sort of thing a bit more. They are both feel basically as they would normally. It's just they have one piece that's slightly different. So what is the Yushi V2M then? Well, it's a cheaper plastic version of the Aoshi GT GTSM, basically. Um, it is certainly not similar to things like the Yufu V2M. The Yufu V2M has far stronger magnets and um, is a very different feeling cube, as, as is the Yutrang V2M. A very different feel to it. So the pieces are pretty standard 6x6 pieces, um, they allow for easy sliding around and I think it's designed so that there is very little friction, the waves there are, are for speed and I think that's the main difference between this and the Aoshi GTSM, it is designed to have less friction, the plastic's designed to reduce the friction and the pieces although they are very similar in design to the Aoshi GTSM I think the slight differences are purely for friction reduction purposes and to allow it to be cheaper which is different for the MGC which I, I suspect was a different change they, I suspect with the MGC they tried to change it so that it's even more of an improvement on the Aoshi um, GTSM but as you can see here they've got that cut there which I suspect increases the friction slightly but not too much to radically change it this simply doesn't have it and the Aoshi GTSM doesn't either um, so So should you get this cube? Well, 
if you're looking for a 6x6 and you're on a very low budget, then this is probably the 6x6 for you. The only 6x6 I think is better than this is the MGC 6x6, which is only slightly more expensive, so in most cases it's probably best to go for that. But this is the best really budget 6x6. I mean, sure, you can get the Maylong 6x6 or something like that, but that's just really bad. It's not even magnetic and the design just isn't great. So if you if you want a budget 6x6 um, and you can't afford the MGC, then this is the one to consider. But it's not that much cheaper, sadly. So I'm going to do a quick solve on this cube, um, it's probably not going to be great because of the angle, but I'll try and do it as quickly as possible and keep the viewing angle of the camera. Very slow, but I am at a horrible angle. 